I'm Dennis Litke. I'm the co-founder with Elliot Washer of Big Picture Learning. Um, started the Met School, which was the beginning of our work. And then uh, now we have 52 schools in this country, 40 in Australia, 30 in the Netherlands. And six years ago, using the same big picture philosophy, started College Unbound, which is now a college for adults who dropped out at some time and are having trouble getting back. And we're working with general adult population, working in prisons, working with natives. So all my work over the 45 years, I know I only look 45, um, has been around the same philosophy. And that is really to pay attention to the learner, to listen to them, and to help them find their interests and passions and build off that. You only get good work out of somebody. You only get deep work out of somebody when they're passionate about something. And we are, we started the Met, and I've been a principal 20 years before we started the Met. The one thing we do that's so different, we don't take a curriculum and try to force it in a kid's head. We look at a kid, find their interests, find their passion, put them out in the community if it's they're interested in animals, they're with a vet. If they're interested in cars, they're in an auto mechanic. We don't care, but we're using that interest. And then we figure out how to put the math, science, English, all within there. So, duh, our kids don't drop out of school. Duh, our kids get excited about their learning. They're here on Saturdays. They, they work late at night because it becomes their work. That's what's important. Just giving kids work to do that doesn't make any sense is not the way of the future of education. It's not the way in the past, and it's surely not the way in the future. So we've begun to develop schools like that, and they've been incredibly successful for all kinds of kids. They're for very bright kids who get bored in their school and now can do incredible stuff, can be working on computers that we could never have in the school. They could be working with staff that's got way more knowledge about their work. So it's just, we're using the real world. We're doing real things and helping the kids be passionate. So if you walk into any of our schools and talk to a kid, they won't say, oh, I did good in science. They'll say, let me tell you my project. I'm taking medical supplies over the Dominican Republic, or I'm changing the way people think about Lyme disease. So I'm raising money for them. They're passionate about something. And anything that's good to do and you're passionate about has all the skills in it. We're trying to get kids to problem solve. We're trying to, to get them to have an entrepreneurial mind. We're trying to get them to apply knowledge. That's what we do. And so I've been doing that my whole life for, um, uh, high schools and some middle schools and now I started with the college and so these are working adults who kept going to school but dropping out because they got families they have work and now we're integrating projects around their work so they're doing something that's real so somebody wants to start a theater group that's what they get credit for there's everything within there so that's been the most important thing in my life it's frustrating that the world doesn't see that you have to engage the learner. You engage the learner by helping them find their interests. When kids come in ninth grade and you ask them, what are you interested in? No one's asked them. So we help them do that. So I think that's important. And you know what? I'm thinking when I really get old, I'll probably bring this to nursing home.